Ready, go! Breaking news. Buari's successor will inherit three diseases. Buari's successor will inherit three diseases. Gumi reviews. To my dear listeners, from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned as I read today's news. Islamic scholar Ahmad Gumi has highlighted what he called three diseases that whoever succeeds President Muhammadu Buhari in 2023 would, would be faced with. According to him, only an intelligent successor who can hire good end would be able to solve the great mess the country has been plunged into. Gumi, a retired Nigerian army captain, likened the poverty and insecurity challenges facing the country to leprosy, diabetes, and HIV AIDS which a novice cannot fix. In leprosy, a disease that attacks the sensory nervous system, the brain is unaware of the suffering of the extremities. The presidency, which represents the brain is not getting the true picture of the grassroots, suffering and the excruciating poverty breaking the masses because the feedback system is attacked by corruption, wickedness, and immorality. In diabetes, there is abundant sugar produced in the body but it is not getting into the body tissues for metabolism and its excess is left in the bloodstream destroying vital organs. With HIV, the defense system is weakened to the extent that a small group of ragtag criminals can kill the nation and brings it to a halt, he said. Gumi, who spoke in a Facebook post, stressed that unless a leader with national appeal is enthroned in 2023, the myriad of challenges facing the country would continue to degenerate. He advised that the next president must also be wary of dishonest cleggies, who, like mosquitoes, feed on every system without adding any values except polarizing the nation more on the religious divide. I cannot imagine a nation facing insurgencies left, right and center, yet the clergy would fold their arms without intermediating to see for conflict resolutions. Rather, they are busy fueling religious polarization. On insecurity, Gumi advised that the next president must avoid using brute force in dealing with terrorists and bandits. If the next president also follows the same trajectory thinking that the present government was only dealing with the criminals with kid gloves, then a greater insurgency will definitely ensue. It is taking almost 12 years to fight Boko Haram in the Northeast, with their leader only, only killed during a factional fight, not by our military action. 
And now, many Boko Haram are fortunately surrendering as a result of the genuine effort of reconciliation and rehabilitation by the federal and state government as one demonstrated by action, not rhetoric. This unfortunately is hiking some, some, especially the allied, as cajoling criminals. To them, anything short of annihilating them is no solution, he said. Gumi added, There is a need for a general overhaul to reflect the security challenges the nation is facing. The nation needs state and country police, and the National Guard with forest rangers, also drawn largely from the dwellers of the forest. No Nigerian should be marginalized in development and participation in nation building. The nation needs a robust educational reform. No child should be left behind. In a 10-year generation, most Nigerians should be educated somehow, and the nation will then rise to great height. Without education, all said will go with the wind. Islamic scholar Ahmad Gumi as I lighted what he called three diseases, that whoever succeeds President Muhammad Buhari in 2023 would be faced with. According to him, only an intelligent successor who can hire good ends would be, would be able to solve the great mess the country has been plunged into. Gumi a retired Nigerian army captain likened the poverty and insecurity challenges facing the country to leprosy, diabetes, and HIV AIDS, which a novice cannot fix. In leprosy, a disease that attacks the sensory nervous system, the brain is unaware of the suffering of the extremities. To my dear listeners, now we've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop by at the comment section and let us know what your view is.